Hello and good evening and welcome to the late night show called It's So Delicious and I'm your host Daryl Kelly. We want to thank you for tuning in. I am here with a great guest tonight, AK. How are you, sir? Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm doing great. AK, right. well, great. AK has been a customer of Soul Delicious for the longest. He is a DJ. And I just wanted to talk to him because, you know, having a DJ and stuff like that, um, have you ever DJed the food? I've DJed the food a few times, and it's pretty good. You know, I've worked with the food for a long time, and, you know, it's a great restaurant. So how do you spend the chicken? I get it baked. That, that's the only way to eat it. <laughs> I, I too much don't dabble in the fried foods too much. Uh, baked chicken, baked fish. You know, y'all have it all. So I like that. So how long have you been eating at So Delicious? I've been eating at So Delicious probably about a good four, four to five years now. And I'd say I'm still here, you know. That's a great thing. Now, my producers were saying that you wanted to be a guest on the show. Right. And they said that you wanted to propose to your fiancé on the show. Right. Yeah. Kind of wanted to do something a little, you know, uncommon, you know. Cause how many times do you have an opportunity to propose to someone on the show? Now, so, is she at the restaurant? At the time, she's not. Um, I just got back from training, which I'm in the military also, and she really doesn't know my whereabouts right now. She's going to pop up on her. Well, all right then. Yeah. Well, all right then. That's a great thing. You see, we do some great things that's so delicious. And AK here wanted us to go ahead and propose. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny because I'm thinking, no, because I'm laughing because because you come up here, you, you're you're dressed like a rapper or you're a DJ, but I'm thinking you was going to do something for us. But you want to propose to your fiancé on my <laughs> show, man? Are you going to rap for her, DJ for her? No, <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I mean, I, I'm old school. So, I mean, I, I do it the old way. You know, if I was going to do it a new way, I'd probably take propose to her with the turntables or something like that. That's the point. You should have bought your <laughs> DJ equipment, and then you could have just played the music yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I mean... I don't know. It, at the same time, it's different. It's on the show, you know. Does my, she... It was better than my first idea. Oh, what's your first idea? <laughs> that Applebee's, and that was a little lame. Oh, what? <laughs> and then you're going to come on the show and say you're going to propose to her at Applebee's? Yeah, You had so delicious. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But where where she's from, is it's not a so delicious too much time. So the closest thing to so delicious is Applebee's. So... So we should put I don't a soul mean to put down. I live. don't mean to put down Applebee's, but so you need a soul delicious. We need a soul delicious. Down there. All right. Well, you want to give a shout out to your fiance? Yeah, I just want to say, baby, I love you. But man, you gotta say how many, how many, how many? I, no, first of all, you know I'm old school. When yeah. you make a shout out, you gotta say her name because she's gonna think I mean, there's others out there. You're right. How many people are you proposing to? Three. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> Hey, guys, if you're watching, I'm playing. Don't, don't I'm playing. This, Look, man. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. No, seriously, all jokes aside, shout out to Alexis Adams. Baby, I love you. You know how I feel about you. We've been together for four years now, and hopefully it'll be a forever. So, you know. That's great. How many children do you have? I have two children. You're going um, to you're gonna have a third? you playing on a third one? Uh, right now, I mean, my, I'm a little bit tied in my career right now, so. It's going to have to hold off, but I'm, I'm planning on it, probably in the near future. Because is it true that you're going to name the third baby so delicious? I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know so about that. think about it. A baby named so delicious running around with all the food and <laughs> carrying the food. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm joking. So, so now, when you DJ, what type of um, music do you do? Is it gospel, R&B? Um, right now, according to the the venue. Um, normally when I get, get booked for a DJ gig, I, I go into detail as to what kind of music that they want to hear, uh, what kind of style, tempos, the whole nine. Um, I have done three older parties, you know, you know, mid-range. Wait, wait, when you say older parties, what kind of older parties are you um, talking about? Um, like, for instance, I recently had a um, party. The young lady, she turned 60. So, of course, she doesn't listen to what we have, what we play now. 
She probably want to dance a little bit, but I have to go back to the seventies. You know, you know the whispers, Earth, Wind, and Fire. You know, I had to play oh, stuff like that. Oh, that's my type of music. Oh yeah, that's oh what yeah. I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Some Lenny Williams. Oh that? yeah. Okay. Lenny Williams, yeah. Lenny Williams, um, Michael Jackson. Oh yeah. Prince, all that type yeah. of stuff. Yeah, everything in that in that genre of music in, in that era. Isn't you know? isn't music beautiful? Oh yeah. I heard you can sing too. No, I don't know about that. I can't I can't sing, but. I can, I can DJ, I can make beats. I, I want you to go ahead and you got to act like you're DJing. I want you to DJ for So Delicious. Right? <laughs> do, a D, do, a, do a DJ So Delicious type song. Do a, do a, I can do a drop, a DJ drop. Well, go ahead. Let me hear you do a DJ drop. <laughs> All right, let me see. A good drop for So Delicious. Don't drop the mic now. No, I ain't going to drop the mic. <laughs> it is... It's, it's going to be a little something simple. If I was DJing for So Delicious, and if I was on the radio, it would probably be something like, you're eating at the best restaurant in the South, So Delicious, where you get a taste of soul. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I'm, I'm going to use that. I'm hey, going to use that. Yeah, yeah, you can use it. So delicious, 1375 <laughs> Mount Zion Road in the city of Morrow. Oh, yeah. Don't wait until tomorrow. Come tomorrow today. Oh, yeah. If anybody want to book this guy here, you can call us at 888-669-4441. Yes, sir. Yes, he does sir. old school. When you said old school, I thought you was trying to talk about my jacket. Oh, no, you know? no. I like your jacket. It's fly. Yeah, I, I, it's I, fly. I appreciate it because I felt like the temptations or something like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Nowhere near. I went in my you, dressing room, came out like, bam. I said, wow. <laughs> I said, okay. Yeah, flashing, you know. I have a thing with this, you know. Yeah, it's it's a nice jacket. I was, well, I started asking you where you got it from. You. None of your business. See, <laughs> where'd you get your dope? Dope, dope the good, the good dyes, young. Yeah, where'd you get that from? I just from? scooped it at the mall. It was a quick. Outfit. What mall did you shop at, man? Um, plenty of malls. Um, Peachtree in Columbus, Georgia, South Lake Mall, Greenbrier, wherever you know the style is. Now, when you leave the show, what they usually do. When folks come on my show, they actually leave a gift. Are you gonna leave me the hat? I'll leave the hat. No, no, I don't want I get, it. I, I don't want it. Hat. I don't want it. But it looks good. It oh, yeah, wouldn't I fit it. the jacket. It's nothing. No, I, I, maybe I, next time. Yeah, next time we can we can work <laughs> something out. Definitely, most definitely. All right, we have a surprise for you. Oh, okay. You came on the show to propose to your fiance. Right. And I'm not sure. But I believe my producer says that your fiance will be here today. Oh, she is. That's gonna surprise me with, since I'm trying to surprise her. Yeah, but that's the whole point. You like she don't even know I'm here. She don't right. even know I'm back. But we just hope that <laughs> if we be... find her, she'll be here. You can propose to. Her. Oh yeah, most definitely. Does she? What do you think she's gonna say? I don't know. She's a she's a shy person, man. She. I couldn't even tell her how I feel about her in front of her mom. So. I mean, she probably won't say nothing. She'll probably give a little quiet yes, you know. But Do you so have the ring good. with you? I, I, I've got it in a safe, secure place. Me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person that kind of loses track of things, and that will be a bad day if I lose that ring. You can do a temporary ring. You know when you walk in so delicious? Right. There's a bubble gum machine right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grab, grab uh, a, a quick 50 cent machine. ring. Yeah. yeah, because, you know, she wasn't expecting it. No, it's, it, yeah, it's like that. She didn't something know. something on her finger. Yeah, you're you know? right, you're right. Do something. You're right. So, yeah. you know, she say, wait, wait, hold it. This is a temporary fix. Right, you know? and I got the real one at the you house. Know, you know, I got a better idea. What's up? You know how it's got to be created. This is so delicious. This late night was so delicious. You can propose to her, propose to her with a plate of food. You're right. And she Pull loves food Oprah. Out. I know y'all have okra. Just she like, loves squash. I, I can imagine some like, potato food. Would you marry me? Have the food right there. But she take a bite of something and it's it's the ring. <laughs> what would <laughs> what would you say when you have the plate of food and be like, would you marry me? What would I'll, I'll be like if it was me? I probably I, I probably wouldn't say nothing right there and there. I I just wait. Like I said, I probably put the ring in something or inside. You gonna put of the chicken. right? Because she doesn't bite into her chicken. She. You know, pick through it. So when she's picking through it, she might see the ring, and that's when I might just lay it on. I'll be like, "Would you marry me? Yeah, I'll yeah. feed you forever. <laughs> hey, yeah. I like to eat too. Yeah, she gotta feed me. <laughs> yeah. You will never leave. I have a nice plate of food here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She had to. She, she, she knows. I. She, she's a quiet person. Like I said, she, she'll probably go for it. She'll probably be 
astounded that I actually did something like that because she knows me. I'm not a person that likes to do stuff in front of a lot of people, so it would be Well, you too late for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can contact us at 888-669-4441. Now, I'm thinking about soul food, and as you think about soul food, it's a lot of great things when right. you talk about soul food. Right. So I want to do something different. If you could name a food like some chicken, right? what would you call the chicken in your field? In my field? Which field? DJing or yeah, military? DJ, DJ, DJ. DJing, um, let me see. I'll probably do a straight drop fried chicken. No, I was thinking about like maybe call it DJ chicken. A DJ, no, I can't do that. that, that or no. spend the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Or get that money cabbage or something. I don't know. <laughs> or collard greens is scratching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah the military. So how long have you been in the military? Military, I've been in the military nine years. Nine years? Yeah, nine years. I joined um, 2008. Really? 2008. That's a great thing. Oh, yeah. So, so is America safe right now? Uh, yes, yeah, safe you for won't the most part. get in trouble by talking about I military mean, stuff I like mean, I'll beat around the bush a little bit. All right, so, so so am I safe if I went to another soul food restaurant? Yeah, you're safe if you go to another soul food restaurant. And if it's a soul food restaurant which in another country, which I wouldn't trust. <laughs> <laughs> what country are you thinking about? I'm just saying, you know, you can't too much, you know, trust. That's just like Chinese people selling soul food. Are you going to trust it? You eat Chinese food, do you trust it? I mean, I eat the Chinese food because that's what they make, but if but, they come at me selling oxtails and stuff, I don't, I don't, know, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going to eat that. Well, you eat their Chinese food, so what's the difference? It's, 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 it's not food. the same. I, well, can you imagine? Because I look at stuff should be to where it's supposed to be like, not trying to sound like I'm racist or discriminatory or nothing like that, but, you know, black people good at cooking soul food. So, of course, yeah, so delicious. So black people so cook delicious. soul food, you know. White people. We invented know, soul food, right? I don't know what too much they cook, right? But food some, is food, man. Yeah, food, food is, is good food, for the soul. You know, you know, no matter who. Everyone is. It. It's, it's a culture. I thing like all when it comes food. to food. You know. So, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is spaghetti for some reason. Okay, what's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is so delicious. Oh, I was gonna kick you out of the studio. <laughs> now. Don't be playing. Yes, if y'all want to meet this gentleman here, Mr. AK, yeah. you can meet him at 1375 Mount Zion Road in the city of Morrow. Yeah. That's where it's up. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Every day. So let me ask you a question. What are you going to say? Because we're going to take a break right now. Right. So before our break, are you going to practice how to propose to her? Well, I, I practice a lot in the mirror and in the bathroom and see how it looks. You know, I got to get everything right. I don't want to mess up or get cold, you know, get cold feet. So, <laughs> so I practice. I practice. I pretty much know what I'm going to say. And... I'm, I'm going to try to keep it short because, like I said, I don't like to do stuff in front of people. Well, so. all right. Well, we'll soon find out after these messages. Yeah. We'll be right back. Welcome back to It's Late Night with Soul Delicious. And I'm your host, Daryl Kelly. I'm here talking to AK, very uh, great guy. He's a DJ, and he wanted to come on our show to you know, go ahead and um, propose to his fiance. And he didn't even have no idea that we actually tracked his fiance down. And um, we went ahead and basically brought her on the show. So now that she's here, what do you like to say to her? Well, and now I'm shy, so y'all got to hold off on it, you know what I'm saying? But pretty much, you know, we've been together for a while or whatnot, and, and you know, we had our ups and downs and whatnot, and, you know, you know how I feel about you, and, you know, I feel like I can, you know, spend the rest of my life with you, and I just want to know if you would like to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you? <laughs> You want to marry me? Yeah. <laughs> Why you can't just ask me this at home? I mean, I want to just try to, you know, do it a different way, you know. That's boring, you know. I try to go all out, you know. 
Well, how many times, you know, you know, people get a chance to marry, try to propose to somebody on the TV show? You know, we've been through a lot. And, yeah. um... Do you at least have the ring to give her? Maybe that'll help her change your mind. I mean, this is a spur of the moment type thing. I have a ring, but it's not here. Well, where is it? I got it in a safe, secure, secure place somewhere else. So, wait a minute. You want to come on the show to propose yeah. to your fiance? You didn't bring the ring with you? I didn't think y'all would get here. Y'all did some. You can't just. Y'all pulled a miracle. Y'all pulled a miracle. Of course. This is the. It's <laughs> right now. What do you think we was going to do? Yeah, y'all pulled a miracle. How long oh. have you guys been together? Mm, for about four or five years. Yeah. Is he a great guy? Uh, <laughs> he's an okay guy. Um, we've been through a lot. A whole lot. And um, I'm surprised he's asking this question. He said that you guys had two children. And having two children, he says he wanted to just marry you. And... <laughs> He says the third child will be called. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want to marry you. Does your mom know about this? Because your mom sings no. with us and everything. I don't know. Does she? No, she doesn't. Okay, so you want to revisit the situation later on in the future? You I mean, if talk it's a, about it at home because you you gotta while she's here, you know, you gotta make your case. Tell her why. You should marry, that she should marry you. Don't be shy now. I mean, I'm not shy. It's, you know, like I said, like she said, we've been through a lot of whatnot. And, but we have a history, you know. Mm. Four to five years is a very long time. <laughs> you know? What about the other women? Oh, wait a minute. You have other women? I mean, mm. everybody's not perfect in a relationship. You know? yeah, yeah, now, yeah. I don't mean to try to, you know, talk to you and counsel you about that, but... A relationship can't work if you have other people involved. You can't, You're right. you You're cannot right. propose to a young lady and expect her to say, yes, I'll marry you, when you have other people that you're involved with. That is not good. You're right. You're right. And I mean, I've made some mistakes. I admit that. Well, how many ladies you have besides her? I don't have any now. You know. Now? Yeah, now I'm, I'm, I'm done with all this. Since when? <laughs> what, yesterday, last night? I, I, I stopped. You just didn't know, but I, I stopped. Because she told our producers that she went into your cell phone just before you left, and she saw text messages that you were talking to other female, and that's the reason why I brought her to the show, because we were actually going to help you with the wedding stuff, but you, you, you're, you're, you're not faithful to the young lady. That's not good. I mean, that... Not to message. put you on a spot. I mean, I understand. That test message wasn't nothing. Man. It mm. wasn't. But you have two I, children. Yeah, we have two children. And, and that's that's what I'm more focused on now, you know. Sometimes stuff so has what to I, happen. What we can do is we can offer you. Do you think you have a problem cheating? Because we can offer you some help and try to get you counseling for your situation. And then maybe sometime down the road you can come back and see how things worked out. And then you might have a chance then. But... I don't think she wants to marry a cheater right now. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah, I, we can we can work some, you know. But I, like I said, I I love her, you know. And <laughs> you told Shanice that last night. See, see, that's what I'm saying. You know, I, I ain't trying to do it up here. I'm just trying to, you know, do the right thing, you know. And mm. like I said, I love you. All that stuff is aside, you know. Mm. I don't want to dibble and dabble in all that. That's the past. You can at least apologize to her while she's here. Tell right. her why you're sorry. Because that's what we've got to do. Um, you know, our people has to have one. We've got to teach our children right. on how right. to be great parents. Right. You see, when your kids look at this in the near future, you know, they're going to be like, well, Dad cheated. I can do the same thing. No. Right. That's not good. So start off by working out the relationship and we can get you counseling if anybody out here has a relationship that they need help on call us at 888-669-4441 and we will try to help you with your relationship and what i'm going to do is uh pray for you guys pray that you guys get stronger and pray that you guys will overcome what's stopping you from getting married you've been together for about four years and some change you know 
at the end of the day, if you have too many other people, it's not worth continuing the relationship. You've got to figure out what's wrong at home. Once you figure that out, then you will start all over. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. So what are you going to do to get your relationship back in order? I have, to, I have to put in some real work, you know. First, I have to change myself, you know. It always starts with yourself, you know. If I'm the cause, then I have to work on myself first, you know. So that's one thing I can do. I will work on myself, change my actions, my ways and stuff, and try to move forward from that to, you know, get closer to you. you know. Are you going to release a... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I apologize how I did you in the past. It was wrong. It was immature. It was selfish. And I shouldn't have took you down that road. You know, I love you, and, you know, with the feelings I have for you and stuff, I know I shouldn't have done the things I've done. So hopefully you can accept my apology. I'll pray on it. <laughs> because I already yes, didn't do it, yes. you did it. So You're I'll right. pray on it. You're right. She will pray on it. I mean, that's fine, you know. I feel better for myself knowing that I apologize to you. Well, I'm you glad know, because that's action, a start. You know, that's a start. Yeah, at, least, sure. at least you are man enough to apologize. Right. And you are man enough to admit that you did have a situation, and she's going to pray on it. So yeah. you can't expect her to be like, well, you know, you cheated, and you said you was going to do it again, and yes, I'm going to marry you. She really has to pray on it, and I'm, I'm quite sure she will talk, God, talk to God and you know, it'll be a great thing. Yeah. Do you Hopefully. DJ too? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Are you in the military? Prior. Do you sing? A little bit. We have a thing on the It's So Delicious <laughs> Late Night Show. And what we do is we make up a song about soul food. So we want you to do a freestyle song about some soul food. A freestyle song about the soul food. Yes, yes. That's like like chicken wings, collard greens. Chicken wings, collard greens. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> potatoes. I'd rather not. <laughs> well, you know what? You know what you should do? You should sing a song. To me. So, a soul food song, <laughs> man. To apologize to this young lady, right? That's what you should Sounds do. great. Yes, go ahead and sing a soul food song. You know what? I can't even, I can't even do that right now. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. See? Just think of a DJ song and do it for him. He done trying already. He's going to do it. See, He's going to do it. <laughs> He's going to do it. She wants you to sing that soul food song for her. Go ahead. I mean, a soul food song. Yeah, just make up a soul food song. Mm -hmm. I can't think of nothing. I mean, I'm not. If I fry the chicken. See, Ooh, she like can sing that. She's going to rip that. Come on. There she go. Come on. Come on. You sing it. There what she go. She's going to start it. Baby, will you wash the green? <laughs> yeah, I like that. See? No, Gene, you're supposed to come with her. Like she said, if I fry the chicken, <laughs> baby, would you wash the greens? But I can't sing them. And if you do it, I will probably walk down the aisle with you. <laughs> because eating so food, eating so food. Brings the best in me. Eating soul food <laughs> <laughs> makes me want some color gray. Woo! So, <laughs> so, so, so at the end of the day, it's good to have fun and just you know love people and stuff. So give her a shout out while she's here. Just act like you're on a radio show or you're at a live party, and you would like to go ahead and give a shout out to. Your fiance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you're a DJ. You can't. You gotta think about what you're gonna. No, do. I ain't gotta think about it. Just, you know, it's a lot going on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, it's your boy DJ AK. I just want to give a special shout out to Romisha, man. That's the girl I love, man. You know, always be forever. And we tuning in live. You do, we going in right now. We turn it up right now to the mix right now with DJ AK. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. I like that. Da, da. <laughs> that's, that's really great, man. That was actually dope. That was I dope. Appreciate I appreciate it. I appreciate that. That's what you do with all your shows. Yeah, I, I, I talk on the mic. I got to get the crowd involved. So. Well, all right then. I bet you the military is proud of you, man. Do you DJ for the military? I've done a couple of, of reunions.
for the different units. Was that old school reunions? No, 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 new school. Like, we have a reunion coming up here, so I'll be the DJ for that event. So. Yeah, and I want to really say to you from the heart that it's, I'm really proud of you how you came on the show and you admitted that you basically cheated on her and you accepted no from her yeah. and you want to really, really talk to God about how to make your relationship right. stronger. Right. And you know it takes real men like yourself to admit when they're doing something wrong. Right. So what would you say to all the people out here who are unfaithful in their relationship? Talk to them. Tell them. Oh, uh, first and foremost, man, you know, you have to you have to accept the consequences, you know. I mean, everybody's not perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you have to you have to, you know, say man up, you know. If you truly, you know, love someone like you say you love someone, you wouldn't do it in the first place. And it all it all comes down to maturity and, and you know, just being wise in a relationship, you know. So and you have to be wise because right. you, you have two children. Yeah. You know, you, your children can't grow up to think that their parents are doing that wrong. Right. And have you ever cheated on him before? No, That's never. A, you're, you're a great young lady. I respect that. Well, right now we are at the top of the hour. And what I want to say is this. I want to say that in relationships, if you are with somebody, be with that person because you love them. Don't be with that person because you look at them as a sex object or something. Because love is something you do not play with. Love is something that is for real. So... If you're out there and you're cheating, believe me, that person is going to find out. And then when they find out, it's not going to be a good thing. But most importantly, God allows you to have that one wife or that one husband, and that's what it's all about. You cannot go out and have others because that is wrong. I'm not the one to judge you, but at the same token, the only way you get happiness in a relationship is if you be honest about it well until next time you guys i want to thank you for watching the show and you guys have a very great evening thank you see you next saturday 9 p.m and thanks for watching